Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. In the Annunciation, St. Gabriel the Archangel said the Blessed Virgin Mary that she would be the mother of the Son of God. She gave her fiat, upon which she conceived the Savior by the power of the Holy Spirit. Christians find meaning in this dialogue in which the Mother of God appears so great because of her humility. Because of her consent to God's word, she participated in the redemptive work of her Son, Jesus Christ. She is the Mother of Christ and of each Christian. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church to be followed by the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please all stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. praise. The Word was made flesh. Come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. The Word, Word was, was made, made flesh. flesh. Come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Word was made flesh. Come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He made in His hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him. The dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. The Word was made flesh. Come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. The Word was made flesh. Come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Word was made flesh. Come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Word was made flesh. Come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Word was made flesh. Come, let us worship Him. Alleluia. Please be seated. The angel Gabriel was sent to the Virgin Mary, who was engaged to be married to Joseph. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy man of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Trusting in the Lord's promise, the Virgin Mary conceived a child and remaining a virgin, she gave birth to the Savior. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's Son exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take the rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate. Please all stand. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Alleluia, Alleluia. In His great love for us, God sent His Son in the likeness of our sinful nature. Alleluia! Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham and set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from an eye shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning and now for shall be forever. Amen. In His, In his great, great love for us, God, God sent, sent His Son in the likeness of our sinful nature. Alleluia! Today we celebrate the beginning of our salvation when the coming of the Lord was announced by the angel. Let us pray with joy in our hearts, saying, May God's Holy Mother intercede for us. Mary receive God's word with joy. May joy fill our hearts as we welcome our Savior. We pray. May God's Holy Mother intercede for us. You looked with love on your lowly servant. In your mercy, Father, remember us and all your children. We pray. May God's Holy Mother intercede for us. Mary, the new Eve, was obedient to your word. May we echo her loving obedience, we pray. May God's Holy Mother intercede for us. May God's Holy Mother help all in distress, encourage the faint-hearted, console the sorrowful. May she pray for your holy people, for the clergy, and for all women dedicated to your service, we pray. May God's, God's Holy, Holy Mother, Mother intercede, intercede for us. We now gather all our prayers and praises into one as we dare to say, Trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. God our Father, your word became man and was born of the Virgin Mary. May we become more like Jesus Christ, whom we acknowledge as our Redeemer, God and man. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore, as blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers, even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, 
as for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary, my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust and sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will O oh my God is my delight and your law is within my heart here I am Lord I come to do your will I announce your justice in the vast assembly I did not restrain my lips as you O oh Lord know here I am Lord I come to do your will your justice I kept not hid within my heart your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the best assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, brothers and sisters. It is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats takes away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but the body you prepared for me, and holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is, as is written of me in a scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel, was, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, 
and of his kingdom, there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? Then the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang araw ho sa inyong lahat at maligayang pagdating sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Sa araw na ito ho, sinisimulan natin ang siyam na araw na paghahanda para sa kapistahan ng canonical feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. At nataon naman ho, sa araw na ito, ipinagdiriwang din natin ang dakilang kapistahan ng Annunciation of the Lord. As we begin our novena today in preparation for the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we also celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. Sa ating pagdiriwang at pagninilay sa umagang ito, ating pagtuunan ng pansin ang mga takot at pangambang naranasan ni Maria sa kanyang buhay. In a seminar workshop, the facilitator asked the brother participants about their fears. One was afraid of heights. Nang tinanong ng facilitator ang mga seminarista kung anong mga kinakatakutan nila, sinabi ng isa, takot siya sa heights. Ang isa naman, takot sa injection. Others were afraid of lightning and thunder and even germs. One brother kept thinking about what he was afraid. Kung ano ho ba ang kinakatakutan niyang talaga? Forced to answer the facilitator, he retorted, I am afraid of snakes. Natawa ang kanyang mga kapwa seminarista sapagkat sino ho ba ang hindi takot sa ahas? Who is not afraid of snakes? You know, my dear friends, human as we are, we all have our fears. Lahat tayo, marahil, masasabi natin, meron at merong kinakatakutan sa ating buhay. Iba sa atin, marahil, takot kay Judith. Kilala niyo ba si Judith? Si Judith. Darating na ang mga bills at Judith na nila. Kinakatakutan si Judith. And Mary, mind you, my dear friends, was not excused from this very human experience of fear. Narinig natin sa Ebanghelyo yung ipinahayag natin kung papaanong si Maria naranasan din ang takot at pangamba. The initial reaction of Mary to the Archangel Gabriel was of fear and trouble. I thought before, Mary was troubled by the sight of an angel. As angels do not look pleasing, based on the scriptures, as they are portrayed by the artists today. Alam niyo ho, kapag binasa natin ang banal na kasulatan, ang itsura ng mga anghel ay kaibang-kaiba sa kung paano natin nakikita ang mga anghel sa mga paintings, renditions ng mga artists sa kasalukuyan. They appeared as winged animals or wheels for the archangels acting as messengers or on God's behalf look similar but not alike to us humans. 
seeing a man-like creature inside their house may have greatly caused panic to Mary. And so I thought. Reading carefully the gospel, however, about the Annunciation event, the reason behind Mary's fear was indicated. Narinig natin ang dahilan kung bakit natakot si Maria. But she was greatly troubled at what was said. Mary was bothered by the mission being bestowed upon her as the word of the archangel indicated. Ano ho ang naging bati ni Arkanghel Gabriel kay Santa Maria? Winika niya, the Lord is with you. Kapag babalikan natin ang banal na kasulatan, sa tuwing mababanggit ang mga salitang iyon, the Lord is with you. Yun ay mga ngahulugan, ang katambal nun ay isang mabigat na misyon na inaaatang kung kanino man nabanggit ang mga salita at katagang niyon. Bago halimbawa ay binigay ang misyon kay Moises sa aklat ng Exodo, winika ng Diyos sa kanya, I will be with you. And so when the archangel said those similar words to Mary, she presupposed that those entail a great mission for her from God. Mary's fear is not without basis, as the words of Gabriel that followed proved. Narinig natin ang mga sunod na kataga matapos ang pagbati ni Gabriel kay Maria. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. How can that be, since Mary had no relations with a man? She was frightened by the seeming impossibility of the task being given to her. Natakot sa mabigat na mesyon na ibinibigay sa kanya ng Diyos sa pagbati ni Gabriel sa kanya. Do we not feel the same sometimes in our life, my dear friends? Upon realizing the enormity of the responsibilities and vocation being entrusted to us, we sometimes tremble. Some, like the prophet Jonah, tried to escape and run away from them. Anxieties brought by the mere idea of the future given to us cause us to refuse and avoid them. This is a manifestation of of our animalistic instinct to avoid harm or anything unpleasant and remain within our comfort and secure zones. Natural ho sa atin na matakot kapag ka may mga bagay-bagay na dumarating sa ating buhay na sa tingin natin magpapahirap sa atin. Sapagkat yan ang tinuturo, pinaparamdam sa atin ng ating kalikasan. Bilang tao, bilang mga hayo, no, we have that animalistic, animalistic instinct to escape anything that could harm us, to save ourselves. These fears for the things that may come are often based on our thoughts, presumption, and not necessarily on reality, on the future things that come. Madalas so kapag sinuri natin ang mga bagay-bagay na kinakatakutan natin, marami sa mga ito ay base sa mga bagay na wala naman sa harapan natin kung hindi katang-isip lamang natin. Mga bagay na iniisip natin baka Dumating sa inaharap, baka mangyari. Ngunit, hindi nangangahulugang siyang nasa harapan natin. Wika nga ako ng isang manunulat na si Seneca, there are more things likely to frighten us than there are to crush us. We suffer more often 
in imagination than in reality. We may be imagining too much of dragons, fearful things that we may encounter in the future, imaginations that lead us paralyzed in the present. Fear, troubles, anxieties can stop us from pursuing and exploring the new things, new missions given to us. For us to live out the life we ought to live, we are to conquer our fears. Marahil sa pagpunta ho rin ninyo rito sa Dambana ng Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag, marahil daladala ninyo ang mga takot, pangamba sa inyong buhay. But for us to move forward in our lives, we have to learn to conquer these fears, these imagined fears that we may have in our lives. How? We can, as Mary did. We can by learning from Mary on how she conquered her fears. As she was greatly troubled at what was said to her, Mary pondered what sort of greeting that might be. Mary considered, contemplated, and deliberated things in her heart. She did not close her heart to the idea presented to her by Gabriel. She did not dismiss Gabriel or lock herself in her room, but rather remained open to the will of God. She dialogued and conversed with Gabriel. In that dialogue with Gabriel, with the plans of God, Mary overcame her fear and gave her yes to God's plan. As we read in the ending of the Gospel proclamation today, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. In this instance, my dear friends, Mary is teaching us an important aspect of our being Christian on how we can deal and overcome our fears and troubles. She is teaching us how to pray. As she was greatly troubled at what was announced to her by Gabriel, Mary pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Pondering may mean contemplating and meditating. In meditating upon the message of Gabriel, she prayed. She prayed not by reciting formulary prayers and uttering supplications, but by simply beholding God's plan to her, by letting Gabriel completely deliver God's message to her. Mary teaches us that prayer is more than us doing the talking. Prayer can be an avenue for us to listen to God and simply behold before us the plan and will of God for us. Sa kanyang mga pangamba, si Maria ay nagdasal. Ngunit sa pagdarasal ni Maria, hindi siya nangusap, hindi siya nagsabi ng maraming mga salita. Kung hindi ipinakita sa atin ni Maria ang ibang klase ng pananalangin. Pananalangin na pananahimik sa harap ng Diyos. Madalas so kapag tayo nananalangin, pansinin ho ninyo, tayo madalas ang nagsasalita. Inuusal natin, binabanggit natin sa Diyos, sa Birheng Maria, ang daladala natin sa ating buhay. So much so that we are not able to listen to what God is saying to us. But Mary teaches us that for us to overcome our fears and troubles, we have to learn to pray. Pray wherein we are able to listen and behold the majesty of God more than us telling God of the things that we need. More than us telling God, begging God for forgiveness 
and giving God thanksgiving, we have to learn to simply behold and adore the Lord before us that we may be able to learn and understand the will and plan of God for us. As I have said, prayer makes us realize the reality that is far from our paralyzing imagined thoughts, the truth that God is with us. When we pray, praying that is listening before God, we realize that God is with us in the midst of the things that may be troubling us. Sa gitna ng mga bagay na kinakatakutan natin, kung tayo mananalangin ka para ng pananalangin ni Maria, pananalangin na nakikinig sa Diyos, maaari nating mapagtagumpayan ang mga sakit, hirap at pangambang mayroon tayo. Because in praying with listening, we realize that God is with us. We all have our fears in life, my dear friends. All the more when new tasks, missions, stages in our life come. And not to mention the imagined horrible things in the future. We can master these fears by remaining open to the possibilities God offers us. We beat these fears by praying to God as Mary did, not uttering words of supplications, but simply letting God speak to us, and us simply beholding His will for us. In this way, we can sing with the Psalms, Here I am, Lord, I come to do Your will. We too can give our yes to God if we pray as Mary did, if we realize that God is with us. Mga kapatid, papaano ho kayo manalangin? Do you pray as Mary did? Do you pray with your ears more than your mouth? Please, O oh, stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Through the faithful obedience of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God takes flesh among us. The mystery of the Incarnation calls us to our loving Father through the Incarnate Son. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be seen as the Incarnation of the working body of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who will goodwill may learn that Christ has united himself with every person in taking our human nature. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That scientists and technologists may work with noble ideals to a further human dignity and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That pregnant mothers may welcome the new life as Mary welcomed her son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for the intention of this Mass, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of the Incarnate Word, we bring our intentions before you, the fabric of our daily lives, made holy by your Son, our brother in the faith, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, who through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. stand pray my dear friends that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for we good in the good of all his holy church be pleased Almighty God to accept your church offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate His mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men, and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is through God and through man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mga kapatid, sa gitna ng mga takot, pangamba natin sa ating buhay, nawaho matuto tayo kay Maria. Paano mapagtagumpayan ang mga takot? Sa pamagitan ng pananalangin sa Diyos. Pananalangin gamit ang tenga higit sa bibig. Panalangin na kikinig sa kalooban ng Diyos. Sa ganitong paraan, mapagtagumpayan natin anuman takot, pangambang mayroon tayo. If we pray as Mary prayed before God, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now we pray for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mystery of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, all and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O ina ng manawag, kami ay dingin mo Sa anak mong si Kristo, bayan ay inapit mo
Yeah, yeah, yeah.